also agree with me that when a political party is registered, it is a public entity. Yes or no? And a public good. And a public good. You were on you were on camera saying that you were promised five million dollars before you left the party leadership. Is that correct? Who I was this, sir? No, I'm asking. Is that correct? You were promised five million dollars or not? I'm not aware of that. You're not no. aware. Yeah. That's okay. That's the answer I want. Is it also true that you were selling this political party? No, sir. You were not selling. Political parties mm. are never sold. Are never sold. And there is no supermarket in Kampala that you can identify yes. that mm -hmm. a political party can be sold. No, that's all right. That's correct. In any case, you, mm. may, you, may, you may want to uh, ask from those colleagues over what whether they, they bought a political party. Okay. I'm not going to be clear here. I'm not going to cross examine them. I'm cross examine them. Now, where do you reside? Can Yes, Karen. Do you have a residence in Bali? Where is security? Please reside in Bali. He has mentioned already. Just leave it at that. All right. For how long have you resided in Bali? I will not go to whether you intend to continue. Two weeks now. For two weeks. and that you have been under the protection of security. True, false? Well, yes, no. I have been under state protection. You have been under state protection. It's having me. Without adequate consultation. Yes, of course, uh, uh, I did uh, read into the content of the Okay. So the second one, which was prepared by Barunji, by Gun and Company Advocates, you had consulted. And this time you were saying. Correct? Yes, sir. Okay. Where did you sign it from? This time earlier than the original affidavit, you signed another affidavit before another lawyer. Does that prepare your credit as an old man? Well, it was, it was a critical moment that, uh, you know, uh, when I consulted, I was advised that uh, you should, made a mistake by signing yeah. the first affidavit. Mm. And uh, uh, the lawyers actually what you mean, never ever sign any legal document, uh, which is without reading the report. It's literally thank you for that information, but that's not my question. The question rotates on date and time. You signed an affidavit on 14th of, uh, September at 8 p.m. Immediately after signing that hurriedly, you proceeded to Kayunga and returned after two days. But still on the same date at 4 p.m., presumably before you signed the affidavit drafted by Rupaka and Company Advocates, you signed a retracting affidavit before, I mean, at your hotel on the same date, earlier than the original affidavit, which is which? My Lord, there are those affidavits these people are talking about. And the documents they are talking about are from Kwago and the company advocates. I don't know Kwago and the company advocates. The ones you signed up in. They were brought to me in a, a private place. So now yeah, the question is asking you, but, but is another document of the same date. He's referring to another affidavit of the same date. The question was just around that. Talk about which lawyer. You are the same person because uh, on the other one you signed one going to Being talked about. I have no relationship, nothing to do with that law firm. Therefore, when I was at the to retract the uh, 
Tati is talking about. It's a separate for me because you are made. Me, it's not about lawyers. It's about the documents you signed. Now, if you sign one earlier, how do you have retracted? Later, you send it on later. But now the one retracting is earlier. That's the question he's asking. With the documents, without knowing the content, without knowing the, but without even having the backup round over. Okay, the content. When did you sign? You see, he's pushing you towards one of the two must be a lie. You are either telling a lie on the other one, or you are telling a lie on this one. Or a lie in court. Where is the truth? That's what he's trying to establish. If you are saying I signed at eight, how come you signed this one at four? It cannot be that at eight you are signing, and then at four you had already signed something. So one of the two must be, there must be a line somewhere. So between the two, where is the line? That's the question he's asking. Now, all I remember is signing an, a, 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 a third page of a document which is now being called an affidavit yes, without, yes, at eight, without signing these documents was called uh, Louis Rubongoya. Good. He's the one you've been referring to as your colleague. Correct? Yes, because he's a colleague in, within the political party. He's your colleague in your party? Yes, sir. Okay. Good. So you sign at eight? Yes, sir. But then there is the retracting affidavit, which you had signed at 4 p.m. before you signed this last page. How do you explain the timing? And from signing this particular last page, you rushed to Kayunga. No, no, no. For no. two days. Me, I was not so particular about the dates mm. or timing of uh, these two affidavits. You have been particular. It came no, from no, you. Uh, I was not so particular on that particular document well, the that I signed. Okay. All I remember is that by. Uh, by around 8 p.m., I was approached by a, a group of lawyers at Bukoto. Very good. At Bukoto, they gave me uh, a document to sign, but the document only contained the last... The that last, is understood, the last, sir. The last what? Uh, without reading through. Now, uh, now, I left the responsibility. And it was retracting what you what was in uh, the original yes, one? Yes. By this time, did you know the, what the contents of the original one, which you signed uh, uh, after Lewis? Did you know the contents, sir? I didn't know the contents because I didn't read it. That's what I've told But you were still retracting the contents. I, I just signed the last page of that affidavit. Do you know where this affidavit of um, Baruti and Bayingana uh, was drafted from? I don't know. Were you there when they were drafting it? No, yeah. yeah, when uh, they just brought it when it was uh, prepared, prepared mm. with the facts that I happened to read it through mm. before I uh, paid it my signature. Yeah. Well, my Lord, for the good of court and time, I will leave the question for now on this. May I say that you are a horrendous liar? Would, you, would I be right to say you are a liar? Or somewhere you have lied. You've been wrong. I've been wrong. Have you ever told a lie anywhere? Not in my life. Not in your life. <laughs> so even when you were retracting content of an affidavit, you did not know. You were not telling a lie. I was it. Even when you were signing an affidavit, retracting another, which you had uh, not signed. You were not telling you Under the Political Parties and Organizations Act, which you referred to gladly, particularly Section 15, 3, any political party or organization or any person which or who B furnishes information knowing it to be false in any material particular commits an offense and is liable on conviction to three years. for a period not exceeding 200 currency points or imprisonment not exceeding two years or both. You have confirmed on oath.
during course examination time that you submitted false returns knowing it. What do you have to say about the offense you committed? Well, by the time we worked out with these papers and minutes and uh, the resolutions and whatnot, it wasn't uh, clear to us. We, we didn't intend it. We didn't know we were bound to commit an offense. But we were fulfilling. Uh, we are fulfilling. Yeah, we were fulfilling our statutory. Yes. 16. 16. You have an obligation towards filing returns, and you are not aware that when you file false returns, you attract the sanction. Uh, not. So it's not reduced this one. My road. My road. All documents. Not all documents. Because you hold of that position for yes. 16 years. Yes. You must know this act in and out. Yes, sir. Consequences, penalties, sanctions. Yes, sir. You are saying you are not aware that by making false moves, because you said you made false returns. My Lord. Some offense? My Lord. From a police office? My Lord. Uh, uh, we see, sometimes what I don't want is you to go out celebrating that uh, I put up a spirited fight. Same things we can constitute in the My Lord, Policies, politics in practice is far different in acts and uh, actions. But you are committing an offense. Because. And you're supposed to be a leader. Why are you your party going through? What could have. And you become a prime minister or a vice president. My Lord, what could have prompted uh, that uh, kind of thing is that we had negotiated with a team. Uh, another political team on their side, and they were supposed to facilitate us with the uh, little money that would be uh, given out to uh, delegates in the form of uh, lunch, tea break, and others, and then we were supposed to uh, pay them a, a, a transport refund. But by the time we reached on that deed day of the of the project, of that meeting, that is conference. Our friends on the other party did not honor their promises. Now, you are... That pushed you That pushed us to sit... We rather commit offenses, but we have to get it. No, because uh, we had already notified the electoral commission, the notices, the other documents. Now, what we did was to sit four of us and made minutes of that particular meeting. We knew what the content of the minister would be. We knew what our intention we intended with the, that particular meeting. So we wrote minutes. Not really that we were committing an offense, but we are bridging a gap. I, I, I think actually my question is, was he submitting returns that he knew to be false? Whether he knew the law is a different matter. As you submitted these returns, did you know they were false? There's no... Did you know they were false? A difference to elect new office bearers were about 41 people who participated and elected the new office bearers unopposed okay. without proper delegates conference. Leave it to me. Uh, let me finish the oh, Please, please, go ahead. We did all this in good faith and for the good of the party intended to keep the party, the party alive. This is the affidavit you, which was prepared by your lawyer, Barunji, and who? By Ingana. And that was the 14th. September 2020. Yes, sir. Now look at this one of 17th September 2020. Is that your affidavit also? Yes, 
look at the last book which has a signature. Look like yours. Is that your affidavit? Is that your signature? Sir? Yes, sir. Good. Dated when? Uh, dated the uh, 17th day mm. of September 2020. Where did you sign it from? I think this is the one uh, I signed. Where did you sign it from? Rubaga Road. Rubaga Road. Mm. At what time? I think at around the... Uh, Around 4 p.m. Around 4 p.m. Good. Let me show you the paragraph I want you to read for court. You are literate. Read paragraph 7b, which I have underlined for you. The resolution and minutes of the extraordinary delegates.